Well, everybody, we've made it to our final week of our spiritual growth campaign, week six. And hopefully throughout these last several weeks, you've been able to uh, look at yourself, look inside, look at how you have been shaped for service. Look at your time, your talents, your abilities, and how you can serve God. And also how it can be scary to step out in faith. But we go with God and he is with you and he is always walking beside you. On October 23rd, we had our ministry fair to wrap up our spiritual growth campaign. And hopefully you were able to attend. If not, we've still got other ways that you can see our ministry list. There's uh, some pages in our directory that are uh, dedicated to those ministries. And you can also check out uh, our website, OurSaviorLansing.org. And on the Spiritual Growth Campaign Workbook, you can find that on our website and you can look at the ministries there as well. But this week, now that we're wrapped up with our Spiritual Growth Campaign, the big question is, what's next? What is the next step for you serving in the body of Christ? Well, hopefully at our, our ministry fair, you were able to... Uh, meet some new people or see a ministry that fits with your time, with your talents and your abilities. And we really pray that you found one thing, one new thing to share and to uh, serve God and your neighbors with and in that ministry. Now, the hard part about ministries is we wear a lot of hats, don't we? We wear this hat, we wear that hat, we work with this ministry, we work with that ministry, but sometimes we juggle those hats and all of a sudden it comes crashing down around us and we've tried to juggle too many things at once. So if you're looking into that one new thing, you have to ask the question, what might have to be put to the side for this season? If you're moving into a new season or a new ministry, what's one ministry that has to be moved or go to the back burner for a little bit? And that's okay, right? Because our seasons change, we do different things, and we participate in different ministries. So now that you've gone to the ministry fair or seen the ministry descriptions, you've looked inside, you've looked at how I can serve, how I can best serve using my time, my talents and abilities, how can you help serve your, your neighbors and God together with us here at Our Savior? Brothers and sisters, in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, this is kind of our, our theme verse for this whole spiritual growth campaign where we hear about the body of Christ and how we are each individually members of that body of Christ. Paul is very pointed here when he talks about how the body is made up of many members. It's not just one member or one sense. No. If the whole body were just an ear where would the sense of smell be? Or if the whole body were, were just a nose, <laughs> where would the sense of hearing be? You are important to the body of Christ. And you have specific time, you have specific talents and abilities that you can, ser you can use to serve Christ. So brothers and sisters, what's next? What's that one new way that you found to serve God and your neighbors here at Our Savior? Our school theme for this year is based off of the Great Commission, Matthew 28, verses 16 through 20, especially those last three verses, 18 through 20. For Jesus sends out his disciples, and he says, Go therefore to all nations, and make, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And surely I will be with you always. Brothers and sisters, that message is true for you today. Whatever that next step is, whatever that next one thing is for you, God is with you and he will always go with you. Because we have the opportunity to go and to grow here at our Savior. We go out into our communities, we go out into our neighborhoods, and we, we serve however we can. And God knows how we can best serve, and he has placed those possibilities in our lives. I pray that you can find those opportunities, that you can look inside, look to what God has, look to who God has made you, and find those things. 
Because brothers and sisters, we can grow here together in our Savior. We can be rooted and firmly found, grounded in Christ Jesus our Lord. And then we can go. We can go as we're growing. We can go share that good news that, changed, that changes our lives. Because when we know that God has saved us, that God has made us his children, and that we have that love of Christ in our hearts and in our lives, it changes everything. So brothers and sisters, as we wrap up our spiritual growth campaign, what is that one new thing? What is that one new thing that you, as a member of the body of Christ, are going to do? What is that one new ministry that you are excited for or you're looking forward to? I pray that God would stir up your hearts and your minds, and I pray that that one new thing would be exciting for you and would be an awesome opportunity for you to share Christ with your neighbors, with our family here at Our Savior, and even out into our communities. Thank you for joining us for our six-week spiritual growth campaign, Serving Christ Together. Now let's go out and let's do it. Let's serve Christ together as the body of Christ, as a family of Christ here at Our Savior Lutheran Church. Brothers and sisters, let's do it. Let's serve Christ together. God bless your discussion this week, and may God bless you and keep you, and he will surely be with you always, even to the very end of the age.